Hey guys, in this one, the customer said he went on vacation. He was gone for like a week or something. He had it set on 78, and ever since, it seems like it's just been struggling to keep up. But we have been having 99 degree days. I'm not going to write that off. Let's check the system, see if it needs cleaning or anything like that. I just checked the filter, it's clean. So stick with me. Here we go. Thing is condensating. Let's check pressures. You can't buy you can't do more than that. I did. Yeah, but it's about a year. I saw one of my thermostats on the wall. Yeah. I may have installed this. How long you been here? Man, that thing is pouring water. See, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know AC at all. I didn't know if that was a good thing. So far, it looks good. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, part of the problem you've been having is um, the temperatures lately. When it gets up to like 99 degrees or something, uh -huh. our manual J calculations for these give us a 20 degree difference. Uh -huh. And the manual J high temperature is 95. So if it gets above 95, it's outside of design con conditions. So it'll struggle to keep it at 75 if it's just barely big enough for the house. Let me see what I'm saying. It's just the right size. It might struggle when it gets to 99 degrees. So um, I'm gonna look at this pool over here. I'm gonna open up the back and look at the indoor pool. But that may be your major problem. Plus, um, do you have a good attic access? Yes. Okay, I might want to get up there and poke around and just look at the insulation. Okay, uh, what about the duct work underneath the house? Think it may have... That could be a, that could be a problem because too. It seemed like while it was running, Maybe it's just me. I feel like there's a, a cool breeze. Mm -hmm. If it's under the patio, I can move that. that all right, I might go. get light and at least stick my head down there and see what I see, okay? okay. All right. That could use a little bit of spraying off. All the duct work looks like it's off the ground. I'm not feeling or seeing any major problems. Yeah, that's gonna look a lot better. 
wasn't much, but it had a had a cover on it. Alright, I gotta get a bow for that You got plenty of insulation. Plenty. Yeah, you got lots of insulation. Alright guys, I put a probe on the return and one right there on the register. I'm getting 16.6, 16.7 temperature difference. Okay, what I was trying to explain to him, and it's hard to explain to customers, Manual J design temperatures around here are 95 outside and 75 inside for our high temperatures. And, um, and that's really all we go by because anything size big enough for that is big enough for our low temperatures and it's a heat pump state so we go by our high temperatures and if it was designed using those numbers how you doing and if it was designed using those numbers the um design temperatures are 95 outside and 75 inside so when it gets so if you set it below 75 and it's 95 outside it may not keep up or if the temperature outside gets to above 95 degrees it may struggle to keep 75 and that's what he was keeping it on so that happens to be very common around here if you design a system you can make the temperature difference more than 20 degrees you can make it 22 or you can design a high temperature of say 100 degrees but you run the risk of oversizing it and having it not run long enough to remove the humidity common problem around here but it's hard to explain to customers i hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one